All right, good morning. Welcome to another episode of Deer Outdoors. It is 4.30 right now, and this is Buddy Jack. We threw two kayaks in the back of the truck, and we're gonna go to a little lake and do some pan fishing and some bass fishing and stuff. I've never done a video on this lake, but I've fished it quite a bit. We're gonna go just have some fun before work. That's why we're leaving so early. Jack's gonna be to work like it. Eight o'clock. So Jack's been. This is like a dream come true. Jack. He's been a fan of deer outdoors oh, yeah. since he was a little boy. So uh, we're gonna have a camera on both yaks. Without further ado. All right. It's like five o'clock on the dot. We just made it to the lake. Obviously, camera doesn't do it justice, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Him again, apparently. All right, I guess he will get eaten because he got caught twice. This lake is just littered with these guys. The hook out here, kind of following this edge, trying to find a little school of bluegill or crappie is the main thing, but this lake is just littered with those hammer handles and ooh, ooh. got something here this is smaller hopefully it's a crappie or a bluegill here got some weight to it for sure giant crappie giant crappie no oh <laughs> i thought it was a crappie it's a billy bear It's a Billy Bass. Nice chubby 12 incher. Healthy release. Chapter bait. Fish on! Fish on! Billy Bass! There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Didn't take long. Got us another largey in the boat. On the old chatterbait. And he inhaled it. There we go.
this lake is a very small lake. It's probably only 40 acres, 50 acres, something like that. But uh, the edge is very abrupt. It's all lily pads. And you probably have 10 yards, maybe, of like sh waist deep, shallow water. And then it just, boom, drops straight off to like 20 feet. So hanging on these edges is where everything likes to be, it seems, so. Oh, just a big bumper. That's not a bad bass. I was so far away, though. Stay down. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Best one of the day by far. Classic chatterbait bass right there. That's not a bad one. That's pushing 14. There we go. Think third bass in the morning. That one's just beautiful, dark, angry morning largemouth. Here we go. Thank you, sir. Queeds. Got these big old billy bass just lay up in. We cast it up in there. Kind of skip it across the top and then bring it as soon as it hits the edge they're just there oh that was a big one he shook it off you if you're ever fishing an area that has thick lily pads cast it up into the lily pads if you're fishing like a chatterbait spinnerbait whatever then just skip it across the top it gets their attention and as soon as it drops past there if you let it stop they'll just bam hammer it that was a nice nice bass he shook me off. I was so far out I didn't get a good hook set. There we go. There's a little thump. Got it. Got it. Doesn't feel big, but could be. I don't know. Gonna be a crappie or a bluegill. Bluegill. Got the right. Got what we were after. Not big enough, but. Finally got a bluegill. Who would have thought? I would struggle to catch bluegill. No, it was a bass. I can't believe that. Usually, bass don't come back for me. That is our fourth bass, I think, of the morning. We hooked five and boated four. Not big, but still super fun. Thank you, Mr. Jimmy. There we go. There we got him. And ooh, that one. Will, this one will keep. I don't know. There we go. Decent punk and see.
There's a crappie. There's a crappie. Stay on. Stay on. I'm tangled. I'm tangled. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Oh, it's big. Stay on. Slab crappie. There we go. That is what we're after right there. All that work paid off finally. Alright, uh, battery died. I caught a few bluegill towards the end there. Jack, what'd you end up with? Four bass. Jack got four bass. I think I got like five or six. Had a couple get off. But show you some of the gills that I caught in the last half hour. Ouch. Not huge, but there's enough of them we can get some fillets off of them anyways. A couple more. And the stringer. You saw the crappie, so that was good. Crappie, I think, was the last fish I caught before the battery died. Nice crappie, probably like a ten inch. And another decent gill. And as Tucker would say, a pock. Or I think you can say pike now. Long and skinny, but fit for the frying pan. So, pretty cookie cutter what we caught the other day. So, beautiful morning. Should be getting out on the water right now and be fishing till like nine or 10. But hope you enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, we'll catch you on another video. Jack, turn around and talk to the camera. Take it. Your time to shine. Should have caught more fish. I should have. Could have caught it to snapping turtle too. I got a lot, a lot of big blow ups. I think I had a really big one on, but I lost it. So one, that's always one, a good one. One thing you might not know about Jack is he is a professional Ned rig fisherman. So one of these days we'll get out on the. Let's go. That's good. Explosive <laughs> kayak. One of these days we'll get out on the Thunder Bay River and have him do a how-to on fishing the deadly Nedley. Oh yeah.